Carrier Corporation has once again taken the forefront in providing innovative solutions with its new and exclusive dual-stage relief economizer, DSRE, for its small commercial packaged rooftops. Let's take a look at this new and exciting offering and how it can benefit your next rooftop installation. In a typical rooftop installation, there are certain times when the combination of return air duct design and supply fan operation can cause a rooftop economizer unit barometric relief damper to be subject to negative pressure. As a result, this could prevent the relief dampers from opening, especially at low fresh air settings. This can cause the building to become overpressurized, which in turn can create problems that include exterior doors not completely closing. To fully see this in operation, the following is a simulation of a typical rooftop with a standard economizer and integrated barometric relief dampers. As you can see, the unit starts out with the economizer outdoor air dampers fully closed and the return air damper open 100%. Also note the standard barometric shown on the left side. In putting the unit in operation, you will see the red section being supply air or positive pressure and the blue being return air or negative pressure. At low outdoor air flows, the return air ductwork and the supply fan creates a negative pressure in the unit's relief plenum. This prevents the barometric relief damper from opening, regardless of the damper size. Today, a common solution to overcome this negative pressure is the use of an additional power exhaust device. Although power exhausts are suitable in many applications, power exhausts in general are an additional cost in both equipment and possible wire sizing. Plus, they can generate noise and waste energy. As the economizer outdoor air damper opens and the return air damper closes, as shown here, you can see the building can become overpressurized at relatively low outdoor air flows since the relief damper has not opened yet. But as the economizer outside air damper continues to open and the return air damper continues to close, the return air duct is now sufficiently isolated from the effects of the supply fan and the pressure in the return air duct has become more positive. These changes create a positive pressure in the relief plenum, which allows the barometric relief damper to open. Again, depending on the application, barometric relief may not occur at low outdoor airflow settings. To remedy this potential situation, Carrier's new dual-stage relief economizer is designed to relieve air at all economizer outdoor airflow settings without the use of power exhausters that in general are an additional cost plus can generate noise and waste energy. This new dual-staged relief economizer is a simple yet cost-effective solution to manage relief air in a commercial rooftop unit using an economizer. The key to this new design is that one relief path or duct is completely isolated from the effects of the supply fan and return duct work, therefore allowing relief airflow at all economizer outdoor air damper settings. In addition to the dual-stage relief economizer itself, a field fabricated and installed duct relief must be installed as shown here. This duct should be uninsulated, should match the economizer connection size, and should terminate open-ended immediately below the building roof deck. To fully see this in action, the following simulation shows how the new dual-stage relief economizer works to help relieve building pressure caused by outdoor air being brought in by an economizer. The first thing you will notice is the first and second stage relief dampers shown on the left-hand side. If the second stage relief damper is unable to open due to negative pressure effects created by the supply fan and the return air duct work. The first stage relief will open since it is not affected by these system components. As a result of the first stage relief, the economizer acts to immediately control building pressure without the use of a power exhaust. Now, unlike the unit without the dual stage relief, no matter the position of the outside air or return air dampers, the first stage relief damper allows continuous building pressure relief when needed. The second stage relief damper provides further relief at higher outdoor air flows. A simple solution for a complicated situation. Finally, let's now look at an actual installation that demonstrates the same characteristics shown in the simulation. As you can see, the economizer outside air intake and second stage relief dampers start completely closed. As the outside air intake damper begins to open, the first stage relief dampers open immediately to relieve building pressures, but the second stage relief dampers remain fully closed due to the negative effects caused by the supply fan and the return air duct work. This remains the case until the outside air damper position opens up to approximately 80 to 90 percent, at which time the second stage relief opens. As you have just seen, 
Carrier's new dual-stage relief economizer solves many problems that can exist when using air economizers with integrated barometric dampers in a packaged rooftop unit. This patented and exclusive offering can eliminate the need for power exhaust systems in the rooftop, which will save install costs and energy. More importantly, it will help ensure that building pressures are kept as intended. We at Carrier work to be your first choice in any selection of air conditioning equipment. For more on this new dual-stage relief economizer, contact your local carrier expert. Turn to the experts.